Nason Tackett uh, live here at uh, NAM 2017. It's a, bit, a little bit crazy here. Hey, where are you going, Jason? If you're in California, Jason's the guy to talk to. Jason Engel, he didn't want to be in our live video. We've been staying pretty busy here. Talking about the app. And also uh, demoing a new feature that we have, the grouping feature, which is really cool. Max, you want to show how to do the grouping? Hold ox and preset. Hold ox and preset. Grab a knob. Let's go there. So that's uh, group number four. All right. Let's go to this one. You do the same thing. Preset. All right. What does it mean here? So that means no group. Yes. If you hit the master, that's not grouped. That not that means it's not grouped. And you're gonna put this in a group with that mixer over there. So basically, you hit box and preset at the same time. All right. And hit channel four. All right. So these are now grouped. Okay. I see all the levels just changed there. Yep. Now, which one are you gonna look at? I guess I'll look at this one right here. I'm gonna turn the drums in the upper left-hand corner. Yep. I see that moving there. Okay. So, yeah. so they're synchronized now. Same thing with bass. as many of these groups as you want. There's panning. We can even go to the link function. Let's link everybody. So anything you do on one mixer is done on the other. And you can have any number of mixers grouped together as you like. Let's reverse him. So this is good if you want to have control for multiple places or if you put every mixer in its own group, then the monitor engineer in front of house engineer can just call up whatever group they want to control. So they can take control of somebody's mixer, they can put the headphones on locally and hear what it sounds like. So you can basically pull up their mix and hear what it sounds like, help them out. Maybe they're struggling to get a good mix. So you can uh, you remotely pull up their mix and control it. And it, it's not limited to just two mixers. It's basically unlimited. You can have as many grouped together as you want. And this can also be done through the app, the iOS app that we're about to launch. You can control the grouping from there as well. Uh, from the mixers, you can have up to 16 different groups. From the app, I think uh, we're probably going to have about 255 different groups. So this adds a lot more flexibility. Uh, it means that you could have, if you have a wireless uh, set of in-ear monitors, you could have one mixer stage left, one mixer stage right, and be able to control your mix from either location. So it's real handy for that. It's handy for being able to uh, remotely control another musician's mix from uh, either the iOS app or from another uh, mixer. So that's new at this show. Also showing everybody the iOS app that we're demoing here. It's just about ready to launch, so uh, stay tuned for that. That's gonna be coming out in the next month. So basically that connects up Wi-Fi uh, with the hub, basically into the uh, HBUS in connection. You just run your own uh, access point, and then that will automatically allow you to see all the mixers that are connected. You see a list right here, and uh, they, they show up as a mixer one, two, three, four, five, and then you basically can come in here and rename it. And if you don't know what mixer it is, you basically can pick one and you can hit identify and then it'll start the LEDs flashing. So for example, this one right here is the one that we're identifying. You can also control the LED brightness on the mixer. If you don't want to have the LEDs quite as bright, you can turn it down or you can actually turn them off. When we do that, if I turn them off, now you come over here, but they do momentarily turn back on when you go to make an adjustment. So, you've also got the ability to uh, zero out the mix. You can copy the mix to any number of mixers. You can turn on the uh, intercom, turn on or off. You can turn on and off the intercom foot switch function. You also have the ability to check the firmware version and uh, 
right now we don't have internet access, but it's it's trying to search for our uh, latest firmware on the on the um, internet, which actually is version 2.2, so that's up to date. But a lot of really cool features there. Ability to remote control any mixer, copy and paste between mixers. So a lot of really, really neat stuff there. And that can run on uh, any iOS device. So it can run on an iPhone, it can run on an iPad. This will allow you to, uh, if you got wireless in-ears, you can actually leave your in-ears, uh, you can leave the mixer backstage and you can have your in-ears with you. And then if you want to remote control your mix, you can just pull out your phone and uh, remote control your mixer, which may be backstage. So lots of really cool stuff coming out. Really busy here at the show, very noisy. Hopefully you can hear me. We're live right now on our Facebook page. We'll go live again later. Come out and see us if you're in the area. We're in Hall E, uh, booth number 1472. Ear technology.